this is Allison Sullivan with Stamp Crazy. Thanks for joining me today. I'd like to show you how you can take a card that you really love or a stamp set that you really love and case it and make it into a different card altogether. So sometimes I find that my mojo isn't what it should be and so I go and look for ideas elsewhere. These are two cards that I received from my friends. This one here uses the new stamp set called Blessed Easter and it's from my friend Melva Peters and I just love this card. Um, I just like the freshness in the spring after you know snow and all the Christmas decorations that have come down. It's really nice to see something springy. So I really love this card. And then I got this card from my friend Jen Tinlin and I loved the layout of this card. So I thought, well, I don't own this stamp set, but I've got the Blessed Easter stamp set and I really like this layout. So I'm going to combine these two cards into a new card and I came up with this card. So it uses the same layout and roughly the same colors as the original cards. So let me show you how I made this card. Asians Mini Catalog, which is our seasonal catalog. One of the new products is the Starburst Framelits dies. These are awesome. There's a stamp set that matches it, but you can use it without the stamp set. And they're circles, but they're like spirals, which are really cool, like little starbursts. So all I did was I took one of these and I cut out one using watercolor paper. I'm using this stamp set called Blessed Easter. It's one stamp, it's wood, and you can see here that it's got the tulips, but it's also got wishes for a blessed Easter, which is a really beautiful sentiment. But I want to use this stamp with other things like birthdays and other occasions, not just for Easter. So what I did was, it's one stamp, but I carefully cut around this before I mounted it and kept the words separate. So now I can put anything with this that I want. So here's the tulips. I'm going to bring back in my watercolor starburst piece. I'm using stays on ink, turning my stamp over and adding my ink. The reason I'm using stays on is it has to be waterproof so that I can um, use watercolor um, aqua pens and color my image, otherwise it'll just run if I try and use regular black ink. The words I want to use are Hello Spring, and this is from the Springtime stamp set. And I'm just going to use exactly the same stays on ink. Hello Spring. Next I want to color this in, so I'm going to use an aqua painter. These come two in a set, and you don't want to squeeze them and get the get it too wet, but if it just wants to be a little bit damp. So I'm going to start with crisp cantaloupe. So you can see that I'm just pulling the ink off the lid of my stamp pad. If you've never done this before, it's really, really simple. You just take your ink pad, squeeze it, and the ink transfers to the top. This is summer starfruit. I'm just going to add in. The great thing about watercoloring is it's quick. You don't have to cover every inch because it's supposed to look watercolored. But I can let this dry and go back in and add even darker colors just to highlight that a bit if I wanted. Next and last color is Pear Pizzazz. And just going to paint my stems here and my leaves. It won't be long until the tulips are up in my part of the world. Probably another month or so. Okay. It's pretty simple. That's all there is to the stamping. And now it's just putting the card together. The base card is star fruit, and then the first layer is Chris Cantaloupe. And I've run the Chris Cantaloupe through decorative dots embossing folder, which is a free product you can earn during celebration, which is January 28th to March 31st. And we make a $60 purchase. You could choose this as one of your free rewards. The designer paper is called Sweet Sorbet, which is a double sided, and it's also from the celebration catalog. And you can choose that as a reward if you want. I want to add some ribbon to my little piece of designer paper here. And I've got two ribbons here. This is the 3 8 inch Summer Star Fruit uh, Stitch Satin Ribbon, and this is the 3 8 inch um, Ruffled Ribbon, and it is in Chris Cantaloupe. First, I'm going to take my designer paper and I'm going to attach it to my. Um, embossed piece. Once I've got the designer series paper on, I can add my ribbon. So I'm going to turn this piece over and add some snail 
like so, so that I can get a little anchor here for my ribbon. And the first one I want to put on is the cantaloupe. And I'm just going to run it around like so to the back again. Stick it down and snip. And then I'm going to line up my other ribbon just over the edge of that one so that I can easily line it up. Then this whole thing is going to get glued to the front of the cart, like so. Bring back in my stamped image and some dimensionals. Piece this size, I would use three. You can see that I stamped and turned it over because I didn't like the first image. So you can do that. It's two sides to every piece of paper. And then I'm just going to lay that on top, like so. And that's my finished card. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you give this a try. Happy spring and I hope if you haven't received your Occasions Mini catalog and you live in Canada, please contact me. My information is at the end of this video and I'd be happy to send you one. Hey, if you want to play, make it about a place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Let us see inside your mind.